I need to take you through just a little things that you need to put in place or you need to know. Uh, most of you send me messages asking me how do we start the goat farming, what do we need. These are the things that you have to have. The day you wake up and uh, think about goat farming, or not only goat farming, but also cattle. Uh, these are the things that you need to know in your mind. Remember, the business of an animal is all about grass and genetics plus the management, as I always say. So that means when you talk about grass, you cannot grow grass on, uh, on a tree. So that means you need land. These are the basics that you need to have. First of all, land. Two, on that land, you must make sure there is water. On the same time, you have to make sure uh, you, have the capital, you have the money to invest in uh, purchasing of the animals. So those are the three things that you need to think about when you think about an animal. Uh, these are some of the things that you need to think about after getting all, before getting uh, the land, you have to think about what is your target. What is the target number of animals that you have to think about? That helps you to determine the, the amount um, or the size of the land that you need to put up. Which system do you want? If you are thinking about a bigger number of animals and then um, you have a smaller piece of land, that means you have to select the system and of which that system um, you can go for zero grazing. Zero grazing, the reason why you see me, I'm trying to explain to you what zero grazing is, how do you do zero grazing, is that most of us, we cannot afford to buy a square mile of land. We cannot afford to buy uh, 200 acres of land. You get it? But we, we also want to do the business. That's why we have to improvise. Those that cannot afford to have... Um, let's say 100 acres or 20 acres or 30 acres, our result is doing um, zero pricing. So if you're thinking about 5 acres to 10, like it or not, if you want to do it commercial, you have to think about um, uh, zero grazing because that is an ideal project. When you do zero grazing, then you have to think about pastures. So on top of the three things I've told you, the land, water, and the genetics also add on uh, the pasture. Wow. So if you're doing zero grazing, what you have to think about first is the pasture, land and pasture. Then you can think about the number. For your information, there is some grasses that you can um, think about. The grasses that are hardy even in harsh conditions, like Chloris Guyana has done very well for me uh, because even in a dry spell, you will see it standing. So that could be a power point of the pasture that we really need to have. Then you can add on some other things. As I told you that the muscles of an animal are all about carbohydrates and protein, then other things follow. You might have the grasses, uh, but they don't have proteins. You're going to produce animals which really have uh, the meat, but they will have less weight or they will have... Um, less muscles as compared to the bone. So that means if you have um, grasses which has carbo carbohydrates, you also have to look at uh, um, the protein. So basically in our grass, let's think about the two things, carbohydrates and then think about the protein. So if you have that kind of grass, you're good to go. You're good to go. You're good to think about very good muscles or very good meat. You're good to think about very good weight of an animal um, you're good to make business so basically that is the whole content of the business if you think about that if you try to think about all oh, what I've told you I think you can do the farming the management that is uh, that is changeable of if something is if somebody is not working well for you it's easy to change you get it but uh, it's very hard to change the position after putting on the structures and everything and then you say ah the grasses of this place is not good let me shift to another place but if somebody if the manager is not working well for you it's very easy to switch to another person you keep trying then finally you land on the right person so we shall compare this 
like uh, on other things that if one thing doesn't work for you then you can change but you cannot change the place where you have settled it requires a lot of money thank you very much let me wish you the best and uh,